So let's talk about the environmental factors that make a motor severe duty. The WEG standard W22 is IP55. How do we accomplish IP55? Several factors. One is, as a minimum, on the smaller sizes, we have a V-ring slinger on the drive end, opposite drive end. But we don't just put that V-ring slinger running against raw cast iron, which would probably limit you to IP54. We actually machine the surface so it has a smooth running surface to, to actually contact. That allows us to get to an IP55 rating. The conduit box itself is gasketed and in fact is rated IP56 in the conduit box itself. Now, in the real world, in a high humidity environment, a motor that starts and stops or doesn't run for a while, uh, it tends to cool down after it heats up. And when it does that, it sucks air in from the outside world. No matter how much you think you've sealed it up, you're going to suck air into that motor. And it's going to suck the environmental air in. If that air is laden with lots of moisture, it's going to condense on the windings as the windings cool down below the dew point. So what you end up with is condensation on your windings. You go to start up again. Uh, if you start up and, and the insulation has started to get weak over years, uh, you'll, you'll have, you can have a failure there. But the other thing that happens is the, the condensation accumulates and then it drips down onto the, to the base. If you couldn't let that moisture out again through a, because it's not, no longer has pressure uh, and, and may not go out as easily as it came in, it could collect in the motor and actually start filling the motor up with water. So one of the things we do is we put drains at the low point of the motor end, sh end shields, both end shields. So that drain allows any water that accumulated coming in to drain back out. It's important to remember if you mount that motor in a different position with its feet on the ceiling or something else to reposition those drains to, to make sure that they're still at the low point of the motor. Uh, so we go so far on something like a variation of that motor is the cooling tower motor. The cooling tower motor has drains in all four quadrants of the end bracket, the face, and the conduit box. So no matter what position you mount it in, there's a drain there to pull and, and open up. So it's really important that in high humidity environments, you, you allow the drains to be open. 